Hey, are we, wait, we're going to do the intro or no? Yeah, we're doing the intro. We're waiting on you. No, I'm talking about for the the vignette to start us off. Nah, man, we waiting on you, man. We're going straight dolo, man. We don't want to hear Nip sing no more. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, what this nigga saying? <laughs> we don't want to hear him say no more. Well, you're going to come back. Dolo. What's his name going to be in the comments talking about nipple up here singing like Alicia? <laughs> <laughs> All right, hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome to another episode of Gladiator Cycle Podcast. This is your boy Slim. Feeling good, feeling great, ready to get into these topics. How are you gentlemen doing? Man, I'm good. I'm good out here, man. I got my uh Dadalorian shirt that I got from uh, I forgot it's I think it's called ID Products or whatever. So shout out to them hooking a brother up with that. And uh I, I figure eventually I gotta get on my t-shirt game because Nip be coming in here killing the game with his t-shirts, man. Oh, so I gotta represent. No, who's the master? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You see? Yeah. You see? Show sure enough. <laughs> you see? Oh, and I gotta shout my man. Now we got the uh, I don't know if we can see these shits on the joint. Moo Moo Shade joint the, the, the shorts. Okay. Okay. You know, really, you know what I mean? My bad. I didn't mean to have my tally knack all in the camera. And shit. <laughs> yes, it, it's fine. Man. Oh, they about to go you in. You got the shorts, t-shirt, Moo M O U. C H E Moushe, you know what I mean? Philly product and shit. But you know, if you okay. also have Philly, we can still get it to you. Cool, cool. Yeah, let me know. Text text me, uh text me the link for that. I'll put it in the description, man. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We definitely, you know what I mean. There you go. Support local business. But um, that's a topic we have, and this might be divisive too. We got Dre versus Kanye. Who's a better producer? All right, I'll let y'all we're gonna we're gonna let Nip start first because you know he ah, he man. loves some Kanye, so I'm gonna let him go. I ahead do love sure. Kanye, but Dre is Dre. I couldn't pick. I don't know. Yeah, I'm leaning towards <laughs> Dre too. I man. have no fucking clue. I don't know. I and don't I love know. Kanye's. They work, all but... pick soul beats. They 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 use classics to 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 sample from. Like whoever you getting to fucking goddamn uh, master that shit. Mm-hmm. You don't lose in either one of them. Um, I don't know. You said strictly as a producer, right? Yeah, we talk a producer. So that concludes making albums, but also beat making, because all producers aren't beat makers, because people confuse that all the time. Yeah, I know. Uh, Look, I mean, I I'll jump in while you guys think, because, you know, I actually, you know take notes and come prepared for class very studious of me uh so the thing where i would say <laughs> kanye is the better producer for himself he's a terrible producer for other people outside of like common and like talib like when it comes to for albums up to both for albums kanye ain't produced the whole jay-z album so stop it he's produced songs for jay-z right mm-hmm. yeah yeah but i'm talking about, we're talking about producers on producing a whole album like do, do we got to go back to that Nas album that we just heard well, Come on, man. Man. Do we got to go back to a couple of white women eating pork, man? We can't do look that. Here. We can't even do like, that. Look, oh, okay, let's even do this. Let's do this. Like, I can make an argument that the clips with Pharrell has made better albums than anything that Push has made by itself for Kanye. Lord willing. Hell, I've not, like, the first two albums with the clips is like theory. instant classics. Uh... I can make an argument that he's done better than those. Done better than I can agree. Day. You know, I can agree because you know why. No, though, it's different. The lyrics it's, are still there, though. So, right, like on different. both sides, the lyrics are there. But I, I agree with Jason when he they was with the Neptunes. I feel like the songs were a bit better. I still mess with the new stuff because it's Pusher, That's and you know he's going to have a good showing. But I got to agree with Jason. Like when they was with. You know, Pharrell, it, it, it was definitely a different type of different type of slap. And I will even jump and go this far, and too. And the only so. reason why Dre can't produce for himself is because that nigga can't rap. <laughs> Look here, but, but I'm going to go even further with this. The Firm versus that shit he did with Nas. Mm. The Firm album with Dre is way better than that crap he did with Nas. I mean, I'm, I'm giving you just real facts. I'm giving out examples here of productions with the same artists here. I, I'm trying to just be... These are facts. Now, you may get me on the, the Jay-Z singles with Dre aren't a, never as good as the Kanye singles with Jay. Mm-hmm. But when we talk about making albums as producing, so you, you're you cultivating the whole feel of the album, mm-hmm. I'm a, I'm going Dre all day. And it's because I feel like, again, if Kanye's not producing himself, I don't feel like Kanye, it don't feel this. And again, I, I said disclaimer because that Common B album is amazing. And Talib's mm-hmm. um, album with Ye is amazing too. That's but my top five. You ain't no skips, dream the Common B joint. Yeah, 
Oh, I agree with you, but it's just I just can't. I don't, but you know what? But one of your favorite albums of all time, Doggy Style. That's Dre all day. Mm-hmm. Like and that's the second it. NWA that album when he really was getting super funky. Like yeah, like I, I'll I will go far as to say that if you were to list a top ten albums for you, Nip, I feel like more likely than not you will have. Dre produced albums in there more than Kanye produced albums. And again, I'm excluding their own work with each other. Like, not, I'm not saying college dropout. I'm talking about the album that he produced. You'll probably put Common B in there, right. but you're going to probably do Doggy Style. You're probably going right. to do something from NWA. You're probably like, it, it's you. It's tough after that, man. <laughs> we know no Eminem is going to be in there. So we, we I know how you feel about it. <laughs> 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 Oh, I was trying man. to make the argument without that was my trump card. If I had to pull it out to be like, <laughs> hey, look, Eminem albums, you may hate them, but they sell, 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 sell. Like <laughs> that was the one I had in the back suck just in case. <laughs> if Nip started man. getting brolic. Uh, <laughs> mm-hmm. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go with better producer, man. I'm I'm going with Dre because I don't know. We talking 2001. Yeah. We talking about dynasty. We talking about no, nah, I don't know, cuz Kanye ain't produced dynasty. He had some songs on there though. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Yeah, he could make a song about producing the whole album. That means you're you are cultivating this album for somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the Jay Z joints, Jay's had songs on it. They probably were the best songs on the album, and I will not disagree with that. But he didn't make the whole album. Even Watch the Throne, Kanye didn't didn't produce all the songs on that album. Mm-hmm. I don't know, cuz you still Yeah, all the yay shit. <laughs> Like college dropout, fucking late registration, graduation. Chronic, two thousand one. That's two albums. That's two classic albums that well, Dre, Dre, got. Dre only got. Dre only got three albums. He so. only got three out. Two albums. No, that that three. bullshit he put out with. Yeah, Shop. ring the, the ring the bells and all that shit. Whatever that yeah. was on. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. that the, the aftermath album. That shit was trash. Yeah, that's some garbage. He only got two albums. What's the joint? What's the latest Drake album that he did? What was it with Kendrick or whatever? Compton. Or was it Compton or something? That's what I was talking about. That shit, that ain't that ain't a Drake album. I agree. It's not a phone then. No. It's mastered well. It gets mastered well, but it's not, it's not a classic album. I don't know. You just like four classic albums to the deck, like him. Again, I grant it. When Ye produces himself, Ye is amazing. But I need my producer to make my other album, my album type two, man. I don't know, bro. I, I can't pick. I, I say I can't pick. I can't pick. <laughs> I can't and I'm a, I give the edge to Dre too, because like I, when Kanye's on his own stuff, like it's like like you said, those it's solidified classics. Like you can't you can't argue those. But I feel like Dre, you know, like you said, NWA, Snoop, yeah, his yeah, first album, two thousand one. If you listen to all right, 2001 is different, but if you listen to fucking the Chronic mm-hmm. and you listen to Doggy Style, mm-hmm. they moved, they took a lot of that shit from Doggy Style production wise mm-hmm. from the Chronic. It ain't like he yeah. came up, it wasn't like he was being super creative and shit. Like it was a lot of shit that got brought over from the two albums. Because let's keep it a bean, the Chronic is really Snoop's coming out party. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. You but it still I'm slaps. Like, but from deep cover to chronic, we had a deep cover joint when the movie came out. Yeah, then you had chronic. Doggy style. This shit's. It wasn't like he made some beats that were like, "Oh shit, this is way different than what I heard on this joint." Mm-hmm. In that era, it wasn't that. But yay, shit. It's different. Oh no, we we we, we will never disagree that. Uh... Kanye's albums. That's why I kind of placed my argument in the sense of, hey, Kanye excluding his own albums, other people's albums, because I can't compete with. I mean, Kanye's albums. I mean, no y'all know how I feel about Kanye and his albums. I like more Kanye's albums than you do, Nip, because you you yeah. trash on some of them. And I think yeah, it's eight oh eight. Eight oh eight can kick ass. Yeah, all right. <laughs> I give you love like now. You love like now. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Doom, 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 doom. You lose. <laughs> <laughs> you lose. No, it I wasn't zero eight oh eight. I ain't gonna lie. You know what? I can't say I can trash eight oh eight. It's just a couple of drinks in that drink. No, that was Jesus. That wasn't. That wasn't. That wasn't eight oh eight. That was Jesus. 
when you're talking about when you took your first mile and you was running through the lobby. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah that yeah, was yeah. Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you like on um, the strange? What, what song was that? It was a strange fruit, or yeah, yeah, yeah. the uh, they they sample strange fruit, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, with blood on the leaves. We had blood yeah. on the leaves. Did you like that yeah. song? Yeah. Yeah, me too. I thought it was hard. So yeah, I mean, I, I'm I'm gonna sit in the Drake camp. I'm just gonna go with the Drake camp. I, as an artist, I like Kanye more, but I'm gonna mm-hmm. sit in the Drake camp, man. Yeah, I gotta say it too because I'm just trying to think of the Drake songs and. Stuff that he's worked on with other people. You got like California Love, the original, the remix. It's a lot of stuff out there. Like, I don't know, even know if I'm aware of all the stuff Dre's worked on, but I feel like when I hear it, it's like, damn, this is, this is slapping. Like, and you make an interesting point, Jason. You know, Kanye's great on his own stuff. I think he's good on other folks too, but maybe not to the degree that Dre is. If you kind of stack all the songs next to each other. Feel like maybe Dre would have more success working with other artists than maybe Kanye did. So I think that's a good point. I'm leaning a little bit more towards Dre than Ye, but they're both the bomb. So I can't. I'm not hating on either one. Yeah, I can't pick. I ain't nip nip it. <laughs> we try so hard to make Nip pick. Oh, that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to get Nip to pick so badly. I can't. <laughs> hey, I can't. I can't. I can't. I feel like. I feel like I'm. It's a betrayal either way and shit. Because. As a youngin, I was all West Snoop, like doggy stuff. Like, that was my shit. Mm-hmm. But then when I got to college, it was like, it's yay. It's like, I don't know, bro. I don't know. I just heard the song uh, Champion the other day, and I'm like, yeah, man, that joint still slant. Uh, the Kanye off of graduation, I think. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I did. No, no, no. Brought it back to the crib. Like that. Who else is going to do that kind of beat for Kanye? Like, I'm gonna go know? with Ye because because Dre can't rap on his own beats. <laughs> That's true. That's true. I'll put it that way. I'm gonna go with Ye because Dre can't rap on his own beats. And you can way. easily tell who's writing for Dre. Like anytime he's, he's saying the rhymes, like it's like okay, yeah, okay. This is Snoop Air Dre. This is Top Dog Air Dre. This, this is true. Eminem Air Dre. He like wrote this shit. yeah. <laughs> so that's funny. Uh, doing uh, DLC's uh, albums too. Damn, and DLC mm. was writing for him. Yeah, fuck no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look so, so now we ain't talking about best rappers, man. We're not talking about best rappers. You right, but you gotta be able to rap on your own shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that, is that the caveat you putting it down? <laughs> yeah, fuck. <laughs> That's how I'm picking. You gotta rap yeah. better on your own shit. And I think Dre has some production on the some of the games albums. Yeah. Here and there, yeah. I think my favorite um produced game song though is uh Timberland's Jump. Uh put you on game. I love that beat. That beat is so yeah, hard to me. Yeah. Go ahead. I love that one. Yeah. All right, man. I guess we uh we we, we spoken our piece on Dre versus uh J versus Ye. Now Ye need to drop this Dondi album, and if it's shit slap, then maybe I'll re- I'll back up, but yeah, I was thinking that too. Yeah, yeah, Maybe he'll tip the scales. That's the come. If that's the what's to come, that snippet. Come on, bro. Yay, back. You, 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 you think it's gonna be hot, man? You think it's gonna be hot for real? If that snippet is what we got to offer, if that snippet is a precursor to the shit that's really about to drop, that shit was hard, cuz I gotta listen to it again. Wasn't it like a gospel startup? And then he's talking about like. It was a whole bunch of shit mashed together. Yeah, yeah. I gotta, I gotta check it out again. Maybe I checked out towards the end of the commercial. I, gotta I mean. See. You know what gives me vibes of? It gives me vibes of um, what was it? Was Saint Pablo or whatever he had? Life and Times of Pablo, or whatever the Yeah, yeah. album that one mm-hmm. that had Ultra Light Beam on it, mm-hmm. which I like Ultra Light Beam. It's probably one of my favorite Yay songs. Mm-hmm. But uh, but that album wasn't it. Yeah, it was good. Know. It was good. Don't get me wrong. It, it, but it, I don't know, man. I, I, Who are the classic? Well, we'll see, man. I, I just. My expectations are low for Kanye, so and I'm keeping it low because then if it do come out to be a dope ass album in the classic, I like to be pleasantly surprised rather than if I get my hopes up, yeah, and that thing ends up being some hot trash like Jesus and not Jesus with Yay and mm-hmm. what's the other one, uh, God is King or whatever like that, which I got to put in a different category because I understand he wasn't trying to be in his hip hop bag, he was trying to get in his gospel bag. So, mm-hmm. oh, Jesus is I, King, yeah, 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 yeah I yeah. just gotta. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, man. I'm, his fingers crossed that Dondi is tight. Hey, 
How much you think a certified level boy gonna be better than Dondi? No, Don does. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not even listening to that shit. Look here, man. What? what, what? Why do Who, what Drake features do you top? think Drake's gonna have? Definitely a little bit. I don't know, but why Drake be why Drake and people top five, man? I have no fucking idea. I, I don't get it, man. How Drake is in somebody's top five, I don't get it. Uh, if like, we're going overall stats, yes. But if we just talk about just rapping, I don't uh-huh. I don't know how he did, man. Yeah, like now that I think about it, I don't go back and listen to any Drake products. Like I'll Randomly go back and listen to a Wale album. I randomly go back and listen to a Ross album. I randomly go back and listen to a Redman album, a Snoop album. I never backtrack with Drake. Like if it's out, I'll listen to it just because it's want out. To buddy albums. <laughs> what what do you have? Scorpion. Gotta, take that's care. His first joint. No, his first joint not, was um, do this <laughs> Scorpion. Only Scorpion we recognize is Eve. Well, well, what's the next one? I was gonna say yeah, Mortal Kombat. That's it. Scorpion off of that joke. Uh, I'm not gonna do that. Look, look at Chris. Don't don't feed into this nip shit. You about to feed into this nip stuff, man. We're not gonna do this, man. He got Spotify. He got iTunes. He can find a Drake album. We want it. We're not gonna do this, man. That's serious. Off the top of the dome, somebody was like, "Name three Drake albums. I'm gonna shoot your leg off." I'd be like, "Nigga, shoot my leg off." I don't know. Three Drake <laughs> well, yeah, okay. In that case, I couldn't name three Drake albums either. Let me see. Uh, Take care. That was one, mm-hmm. right? Oh, I mm-hmm. guess I could views from the six and then Scorpion. Mm-hmm. I guess I could name three that I. Right, if you're reading this, this is too late. Um, oh, I don't even know about that you one. Thank me now or something. <laughs> <laughs> Thank me what later. Was the, joint he did with, uh, the joint he did with Future that I like. Um, uh, I know the single was Jumpman. I think that Jumpman needs to go off. Yeah, Dirty Sprite. No. <laughs> no, that's Future. Jumpman, Jumpman, Jumpman. <laughs> Drake wasn't on Dirty no. Sprites? <laughs> mm-hmm. hey, well, Future and Drake did a whole album together. I don't know what it was called though. I thought it was but, Dirty uh, Sprite. Nah, it ain't no Dirty Sprite, man. That's, That's Future's Future's like on album Dirty Sprite. <laughs> uh, what else did he have? What was his mixtape called? Um, was I think it's What a Time to Be Alive was the name? Yeah, of the What album? a Time to Be Alive or something like that. Yeah, yeah, that's that's one of them. Look, yeah, man, that was I, a, I, that was a combo. I ain't fading, man. I right, drink. I mean, go get your get your money, dude. I can't fade him, man. Get your oh, money, yeah. man. Let me tell you something. I talk a lot of shit on here about a lot of people. If I had a chance to change the switch lives, I'm definitely gonna beat them niggas. Lord Hill, Drake, <laughs> all of them. I talk shit just because this is what we do. And shit. But if you talk about trade live, who I'm gonna be? Oh yeah, go ahead. <laughs> You can come fix these fucking buses, <laughs> and I'm gonna go out here and, and sip champagne and chill. You gonna go save souls, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Look, that's what Lauren says you're doing, man. Leave her alone. She's saving souls. Soul. You don't get the fuck out of here with that goofy ass. <laughs> look, 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 don't get the down, man. <laughs> All right, y'all. This has been another episode. Glad it's your cipher podcast. Um, again, be sure to follow us on all the socials. Like, share, subscribe, and definitely comment. You know, we, we got our comments. We're trying to get some more ammo for our new segment where, where Nick uh fires back at the comment section and you know tries to give y'all his 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 two cents on what y'all got to say in there. So definitely provide us some more content uh with this one. Make sure you comment. Where we off about Lauren's verse, you know, did, did you appreciate it? Do you are you feeling her saving souls? Do you think she, her lateness is justifiable? Let us know in the comments. Um, but outside of that, we'll be here. Bright and early next week with some more music reviews and cultural takes. Peace out. Who's the man?